Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Chupacabra's Lair, where my mouse needs to be jacked up on sensitivity. We are going to be playing some Paragon here today. I am going to be playing as a mage who specializes in the... Ooh, I have a Magnus key, but I don't want that. Um, he specializes in um, using teleportation to open up rifts in time and space. And he can summon a giant uh, cascade of rocks and teleport himself and suck the life essence out of people's bottoms. Because he's a, fu he's a fun chap like that. He really is. So we are playing Paragon today. I and my friend Anubis, who got me Hello. the Founders Pack access to this while it's in um, Alpha. And this is, it's basically Pretty Smite. That's, that's what it is. And yeah. So we just gotta do regular MOBA things. Kill these towers, um, farm minions, there is a jungle, and holy titties, it is pretty, isn't it? So yeah. Yeah, it does that stuff with the to things. To mention, it's, it's on the new Unreal Engine. This is what you're dealing with right here. Yeah, and you know, as early access as this is and the problems that this game does have, like, it runs pretty well, although I am on a ni on an NVIDIA 980, so that might <laughs> that might have something might to do. A little bit with considering that. that's still listed as like the top of like all of the um what is it, the benchmarking chart still. Like, oh how does it do on this and that? Oh it does just does fine. It does things. Yeah, it does whatever the hell it wants. It just gets really loud. But I'm good enough with uh my sound editing now and Having the microphone close to my beautiful face hole that you'd never know. So I'm. Yeah, I... I did notice it does get pretty loud, though. I mean, like, when it's cooling off, the damn thing. Yeah, I've also got. Off. I mean, this is on a laptop, too, so, like, it's got a little cooler plate underneath of it. So our goal is to just be little buttholes and prod this guy company. with the magic. Oh, yeah. I don't have the thing yet. Lots so... of company. If you could help me keep them off my nothing. titties, you could just shoot You're them, dead. dude. You know, with your I guns. Nah, I'm dead. But well, we're just gonna try and <laughs> fondle people, nothing. but we don't got much course when the whole team is... It's weird that they're jungling this heavy this early, but whatever. Um, yeah, so we're gonna jungle. try and poke some people down really low, because um, Anubis' character, which is a cybernetic black guy with a rifle shotgun, uh, he is going to unlock an ultimate at, like, level 5 that lets him snipe people from anywhere in the map. It shoots through, like, solid objects, just not, like, ability shields and defensive stuff. I didn't go on ham early. God damn it. Well, that's fine. I can nail people in the tits. This is Severog. If I had the health, I would. He is basically death. He... Siphons off the souls of shit that he kills and uses it to fuel his evil. He's pretty evil. All right, I have my escape now, so that shit won't happen twice, which is nice. I don't have the health to stay. That's fine. Back you can you can go. I got right. I got plenty of mana potions and I got my escape. They won't touch my titties again. I got mines up behind us, so we should be fine. Yeah, there. and the other thing that's cool with his character is he can lay down these little mines that explode and slow people. It's really buttholy. It really, really it's is. my way, I will take the pits. So one of the things I do need to do is there's different resource gathering in this game so that you can get extra experience. And one of the things is the placement of a key. Oh, is this not available yet? It's not. Yeah, so the one, of the, one of the things I have is a harvester key, which is in my sidebar there. And it lets me put down like a suctiony thing that siphons off experience that I can use on, uh, well, to give the whole team a little boost in experience. It's experience in card buying, so the card points you get are also level based. Um, and the, the, items, the items that you get are called cards, they're like little decks. Which is, in a way, I find it odd that everyone's all about, like, deck building lately, in the last few years, but it is what it is. There's a lot of games doing that now, as you can see. Yeah, like, uh, the people who made... what was that name? Um... 
Paladins does it. Forced, the forced game made like oh, a yeah. forced showdown where it was all about like building your character with decks. And the new game Paladins does it as well, which is pretty good. Yeah, and that's the game that's like Overwatch. So we're just farming here with these guys, and I've got unspent points three, so I have three points of money. And things usually cost between one and three points to buy. So I'll probably go back when I have like nine of those. That'll be a meaningful upgrade without wasting time. Yeah, later on in the game you'll notice that uh, heavier, stronger cards will cost more, so you'll have like five points for yeah, one. Yeah, it's way more efficient to just like get a bunch rather than... Or a bunch of like the really powerful ones than to waste on a bunch of cheapo quick upgrades. Oh, and also to remember, you only get 60 points, so you're really restricted on what you can do. Yeah, although <clears throat> early in the game, until you unlock better cards, like you got to get different items outside of games to like determine decks and builds and stuff. Like, until you get that, it's pretty easy to max out your stuff and then have nothing but useless items slash cards to spend your points on. Are we getting fondled now? Nah, Usually they only mind. suddenly decide to get... Hamish when someone's about to touch the booty holes. Yeah, um, you'll notice to the right there's a, a uh, looks like a bush portal thing. No, no, I'll, I'll explain it to him. So there's this little, there's this thing here. It looks like a, like, like a fountain. It turns you invisible when you walk in here, and you can hear when people go in and out of it. But, um, you know, it's, it's just kind of like a, the alternate to a bush, but instead of making it really easy to get ganked by that, because it's kind of hard to, like, look over there without a weird FOV. They put a noise. So you have ample warning. If you played with sound, because of the way that I'm recording, I don't ha have sound, which is why he's in lane with me. So he'll w whine and yell at me when we're about to get fondled. Like we earlier. actually just tagged company uh, a few seconds ago. Oh, uh, that was Kalari. Oh, the he one tried I to gank me. He failed. Yeah. So my ultimate ability is a black hole, and uh, his is a death ray that he just used, which is funny. <laughs> so I just walk up and I have like a huge AoE suction ability, kind of like uh, Hades from, well, uh, Smite. So, Smite. I mean, any of these MOBAs anymore are going to have some correlations to others just because, I mean, the, the, the genre is getting pretty full of different types of play styles and game types, so... It's bound to happen eventually. Company, Do I believe. Have... Oh, yeah. That's just Winkle Dink back. Just... Yeah, and this boy trying to do something cool. That's yeah, fine. Let's go place our harvester. Show yep. him what it is. Well, I already showed him where it is, but it'll be cool for them to look at it. So the harvester just sucks up magic. The, the story of this game is, I guess, they're fighting over magical resources in this rift area. So we stand here, and it crafts this harvester here that goes into this magic murder hole. And it sucks up the, uh, the life jism of this planet and gives it to people. Uh, this is an interesting kind of game universe, because you've got, like, high-tech science meets, like, magic. It's very Guardians of the Galaxy-esque, if I had to give it a vibe. It's also grungy and realistic and, like, horrifying screams of death and agony and murder and fondle. Let me put some more mines up, Muffin, be careful. That's yeah, fine. I'm actually getting a little congested this evening. I'm gonna have to go take something before I go to bed. So I think one of the downsides of this game is it kind of takes a while to get going. Just because, uh... What's the purple flashy mean? Someone ping? Uh, no. Blue flashy is ping. Purple flashy is a fountain you can put down. I mean, a, uh, harvester you can put down. Muffins, get back now. Alright. I'll teleport back. Somebody coming to touch the booty holes. Two people coming. Rampage. Oh, yeah? And... No. Oh, yeah, look at them. They're getting trapped on your little slows. Rampage got a sick skin on, though. Look at that shit. Yeah, he's all, 10 he's all glowy. So that guy just hulks out and gets really hard to kill. He's kind of annoying that way. He has a rock he can throw at people. Yeah, he's a gem. He really Somebody is. Somebody again. Time to leave. Yep, I'm fucking off. They really want to come visit us. Well, we're actually controlling the lane, that's why. I guess. The rest of them are either fighting hard or... Flory's still here. ...getting ganked. Yeah, we got a friendly, too. Oh, that's sad, dude. 
Oh, Sevrog, yeah. He's a tank. He gets more annoying as time goes on. Oh, I'm dead. Are you? Most likely. Oh, I mean, never mind. They might be a little fucked too if they keep going. That's my ultimate. And that was his. Fire Rampage. So that's why we really like this combo of anything plus the black guy. Because <laughs> he just death rays people and pretty much ensures a kill after you figure out how to use his ult. His ult's very. You have to be paying attention because it does take a few seconds to channel. But after the channel, dude, it's blast radius is huge. Let's see, I want some more attack. I need to go back for some more po potion to keep up my uh, mana. One thing that is kind of nice in this game is you do have to buy potions, like, say, in League of Legends, but they restock every time you go back to town, and if you sell them, you get the full price back. Which is nice. We just crunked that tower. There's something I don't like, and I'll explain it right now. That tower just went down, because three of us at level 7 were able to take it down. I mean, that's not bad. It's just, I would kind of wish that they had a few more towers, because once you... Once you start getting a couple towers down, the whole thing just kind of snowballs out of control. Like, it's very hard to come back in this game. It's incredibly difficult. And they even make it worse because on the map, there's a circle with a triangle on it. That's Orb Prime. Basically, no, no, no. We'll, like we'll explain that. We'll explain that later. So basically, mm. the, the Baron buff in this game, if you're familiar with League of Legends, it's called Orb Prime. You kill a guy there in the middle. You see that circle there next to the orange or the purple flashy in the minimap? Basically, you kill that, and then you have to, like, get a get a slam dunk basketball style um, on the other side of the map from it on the enemy side so they have a chance to stop you. And then you get, like, a sick buff determined by whatever um, uh, trap card you have. Let's call it that. You get, like, a prime card that you can equip to one to each deck. And that determines what sort of uh, fondly buff you get if you get the super buff. I think we should probably go visit mid. Oh, you're gonna get ganked from behind, bro. Am I? He missed. And that's his ult. Well, it's unfortunate <laughs> that I've got my shit, isn't it? Oh, and here comes Kalara to finish him off. Yep. That was the world's worst gank. Oh, we have another one here? Kalar? This Kalar. Oh. No. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go rape his tits. There's I quite a there's quite a big um, jungle, but it's all just like little packs of critters. I feel like they could wander around a bit, you know. Oh shit! He ulted us. That's fine. I killed him. The chupacabra strikes. Now he's going to go fondle in the middle because he still has his ultimate. <laughs> so do I. Actually, no. There's no one in mid. They're all bottom. Hmm. I have a shot. Ready, Muffins? Do the thing. Come on, Death Game. Ray. And... They're not fighting him? Why, Why aren't they going after I can't, I can't shoot Death I Ray. I don't know. Not low enough. Oh, now he is. Watch uh, this. Uh, uh, uh. Where is it? There it Damn. is. You missed, but it's alright. It looks cool when you zip through, like, half the frickin' terrain. With the sniper rifle that shoots God in every JRPG ever. Oh, right. Oh, they're gonna lose mid. Mm, they're gonna try and stop us. All right, I'm the same gonna... guy that just died last time. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes with like, like uh, what's the what would I call it? Cyberpunk adaptations. They got like implants or robot arms. Basically, things you gotta be really careful when you jerk off because you might rip your own dick off. <laughs> or your clit, whatever, whatever team you you end up being on. Clear and as you guys can see, I bought plane. like three spellcaster, um, like card upgrades for like a spellcaster staff card, and now I, I do stuff real good. Now I'm gonna back the frick off because I don't want to get touched by that colossal guy. Is that dude that's got like he's like tentacle Cthulhu Hulk? He can fuck you up solo. He's kind of a bullshit character right now. But this is alpha, they're still adding bits and bops, so, you know, whatever. I certainly like the game so far. Just not every well, character is, is for power. everybody. Is there, I guess there's just action in the area that I just left. They're gonna try and fondle somebody. Now that's just rude, sir. 
Well, I still have my ult, because I, like, have not had opportunity to use it yet. Oh, what's wrong, sir? You getting s double stuffed? Oh, that's too bad. That's just awful. It's awful that that would happen to such a swell fellow. Oh, I'm out of mana, though. I guess I can just touch him, though. I can touch his boy parts with my with my magic jazz hands. Something to pay attention to if you do play this game is uh, XP is not shared across the entire team, so experience needs to be gained by yourself. Or, yeah, so everybody, you know, if you look at the thing here, like, I'm one of... Actually, no, I'm not the lowest. Uh, robot boy is... Uh, Hilarious, basically, you yeah. just have to farm individually. Um, the XP that you get from the harvesters is global, but most of it is not. And the XP that you get individually is also how you get money to upgrade and stuff. So if you're not involved in fondling, global. then you're SOL. Yeah, so basically XP is not global, hard points are. Yep. I need to go back and get me some upgrades with mana soon. Although, there's a couple of spare ones on the ground I can't get. Um, although I do need to wait and get some more cash so I can get some, like, regular mana upgrades. That's and really, the thing that kind of annoys me in a way, because it's a little complicated and convoluted this early, is how you build your own sort of, like, decks of cards is a little bit up its own butt. But aside from that, you know. Let me see here. I have a staff of fondle, but I'll try some of this, which will increase my mana. And then I'll get a big mana upgrade for it. And then I have enough left over for a lesser health. Why not? They really, really, really like the right side. Mm hmm And really, the way that you can tell what side you're on is that big dead tree over there. In middle that I was just showing you. That or just the map. I mean, the map kind of bases... Well, um, you can. It always looks like you're coming from the bottom on the minimap, doesn't it? Yeah, but red on the right hand side means you're on bottom. Red on the left hand side means you're on top. Yeah. What are Little, you doing, uh, buddy? What are you doing, Buster Brown? Ooh, Murdoch's here too. Yeah, there's all kinds of fondle. It's a party. And our other buddies in, in the bush. Ready to rock. Yeah, They're running! To cool. Go get him! So you hit Kalari shift to hand. sprint and do stuff. Um, the trick with that is that uh, if you get touched while you're sprinting, you get, like, rooted for a little bit. And that motherfucker can just do that shit at any time. So... Me and Rampage ain't on good terms, let's put it that way. Whatever. We chased him out of lane, we'll fondle him later. We should probably... Let's go get me, like, this game's version of blue buff. Because I want extra oh, mana regen. Red. Is blue not up? Sorry. That's fine. <laughs> as long as one of the one of the scrub pubs didn't get it. Their blue might be up though. Let's go steal their red. So let's see if that's up. Yeah, this will be the red side. Yep, it's right over here. Nope, it's down. Nope. We could probably rape them though. Oh yeah, come up from behind. Do the shit. Let's get them in their boy parts. What are you gonna do, Mr. Colossus? That ain't gonna work fast enough, not nearly. Where do you think you're going, boy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, death rays for the win. Yeah, yes, back here, boy. My African American adventure hole is uh, is upgraded now. Oh, so is mine. Don't worry. My empowered mage fun hole, as it were. Oh, and skills do damage to towers, which is nice. That really just depends on the MMO more than, or not the MMO, the, M the MOBA, to be honest. It does, the same thing is true of Heroes of the Storm, and I th right. think... Smite? Yeah. Maybe. Smite? Maybe. I don't remember necessarily. So this is their inhibitor. These respawn. But if we can get this down... Their version of super minions are a bitch and a half to deal with. All right, Rampage oh, yeah. is here. Four of them, but they hurt like a motherfucker. Yeah. Hmm. We need to leave. I need to, t yeah. Activate our sprint button to power off. I fly like Iron Man, because I'm fancy. Hmm. They're getting fondled across the map. Let's go visit. 
Okay. Take the long way. Works for me, hombre. Oh, did they give up? Wow, this was a short match. Holy tits. A minute long. I can't hit the continue button. It's broken. Is it? Well, let me yeah, get out of here. So before we go then, since this was a pretty quick match, I will show you guys what the card system looks like. Look how beautiful I am in my Gideon-ness. Oh, I got a tribute. I got an XP boost and a reputation boost. Nice. I I guess that's cool. So you get throughout playing, you can get card packs and buy card packs with in-game currency. And you open them, and then they give you random allotments of cards for just about everything. So I got some Alpha Heal, which gives me more bonus health regen, Burst Engine, which is a slottable upgrade. Gives me some passive physical damage and mana regen. Um, focused Pierce, I, ca I, I can touch people's butts through their armor better. Um, vicious Kinetic, which is attack speed, and a Chronomancer Disc. And then all that stuff goes into your card packs inside of, like, uh, you go to your profile, and then in each individual character in your decks here, you can create different decks for each of the individual characters. Personally, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna wait till I get a bunch more cards. Um, yeah. Good idea. To wait, honestly. So yeah, that's how like the equipment and everything works in here. And then you can get skins for the different characters. There's a bunch of different characters that you can play. And next time, I think I might play, um, shit, I don't know, maybe Twin Blast. Twin Blaze, whatever his name is. There's a whole bunch of characters. Uh, this is a lady who's a robot, lady robot. Look at her, she's got like the greatest handjob arm in that backpack. It'll rip your dick off, straight off. It'll shear it off like nobody's biz. And she does that, She's an, she is a giant asshole. So she until is. next time, um, this has been Paragon. If you guys like these videos enough, um, Anubis has been able to chat with quite a few of their developers, so I might be able to arrange an interview for some people to ask questions and stuff, so we'll see how that goes. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I've been Larry, this has been Anubis, and we'll catch you next time. Toodles, everybody.